Okay guys, I wanted to make a quick video to show you something super cool and useful you can use for your own WordPress website. You can connect Claude. I don't know if you know about it. It's like a chat GPT, but a different one. You can connect this to your WordPress website and you can use all the intelligence from Claude, for example, for SEO or any other content changes you would like to make to your post or to your WooCommerce store. You can like straight from Claude, you can give instructions and Claude can connect to your WordPress site and can uh, query posts and make changes and come up with ideas and improve your article. So it's super cool. And let me quickly show you how you do it. So here's my WordPress website and I installed this cool, this tool, uh, this plugin WordPress MCP. It's built by Automatic, which is the, um, the mother company of WordPress. So you also have like a um, uh, GitHub, um, WordPress MCP. So you have a big GitHub project that Automatic is working on. It's this one. Uh, is yeah, it's WordPress uh, MCP with all the instructions. But I'm going to show you quickly how you can connect. So after you installed WordPress MCP, you go to Settings and you enable uh, MCP here. And you can also enable Create Tools and Update Tools then you allow Cloud to basically create things and update content. And then from here, the documentation, you get this Cloud desktop, you copy this and here you have like this token and you have this log file. I removed this log file because it got me into trouble, but you can set it on your own um, personal computer where, or your MacBook where you want Cloud to log and you can, and you have to change this. So first you go here, um, go to Cloud settings, um, Cloud settings. Yeah, here. Then you go to developer and then here edit config and this config you add. Um, we're open with I text edit is fine. So here you have you paste in this thing you just copied then you will um, find your um, token which can be found here authentication tokens you create one here you can set the duration i've set it to 10 days because otherwise you have to like refresh your token every um, few hours so 10 days i think 30 days is the max then you get your token you paste it in here and then you store this file and then from here, you it's um, an MCP servers edit. That's what it's called. Then you um, quit cloud, start cloud again. Ah, yeah. Let me see. Okay. And now here you have. Mm, it's gone now because I think I probably fucked up the <laughs> settings. Let me see. Developer, edit config. Open with text edit. Yes, that's not great. So I remove this. I keep mine here. I'm going to replace this this one later, of course. And it sets your um, WordPress website here, where it should connect. Then again, I'm closing Cloud. I'm starting Cloud again. And now here is WordPress MCP and it's activated. So now I can tell, I can ask Cloud, for example, I have a blog, a blog post here about a new uh, plugin update and I can ask, um, like, give me my latest blog post regarding Bricks Builder from my WordPress website. So now you can see that Claude has access to my WordPress website via this MCP connection. So you see Claude wants to search posts. So it starts using tools um, with parameters, Bricks Builder, it's search for blog posts. I can allow it here. All right, so now it gives me the whole um, summary of the post. And then for example, I, want to update this, I already created like a quick um, instruction. So for example, I have a section in this blog post that I want to rewrite, then I can, let me, so 